What's good YouTube? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a trips tight end passing concept that you can utilize to beat the meta Mabel defense. It's a concept I've honestly uh, slept on, haven't talked about it enough. It's a play in general that I haven't really covered enough here on the channel. Wanted to cover it a little bit more in this video. And like I said, we're going to use this concept to uh, combat when our opponent starts to use 30-yard cloud flats, especially base aligned 30-yard cloud flats out of the cover two defense. Again, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And we are taking a look today at the trips tight end out of the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. We're going to be taking a look at the play drive post and how we can utilize this to really work over the 30-yard uh, cloud flats in this game. So I'm just going to set a couple of audibles here, grab myself a man coverage, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my flats on 30, my curl flats are going to be on 10, and my hook curls are going to be on 5. This is kind of a general way that a lot of people run their Mabel concept or their base coverage defenses here in Madden 22. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and move the ball. You can be on either hash for this. It's not a hash dependent setup. I will say um, I do like the spacing of trips with uh, with the three receivers to the field. You can also, of course, have routes that work both short side and wide side. So this is going to work on both sides of the field. And the basic concept here is we're going to, again, do a double Mabel meta coverage. So again, we've got a nice vert hook here. The user is going to be coming over the top of the middle of the field taking anything up the seam, and then they're gonna have some really great underneath coverage. So how are we gonna combat this concept? Well, the best way that I know how to combat this is a simple way out of the drive post. And basically what we're going to do with this is we are going to take our slot receiver, we're gonna put him on a hitch route. We're then going to take our number one receiver, Mike Evans, and we're gonna put him on a smoke screen. We're going to then streak our tight end and then really important, I like to go ahead and put the running back on an option route. This is going to cause the opponent to have to basically vertical hook on both sides, which typically they're not going to do if they are double mabling. So here you're going to see the, the routes and the pattern distribution. And then we're going to just simply throw this post. Now, what makes this post so special is it gets underneath a 30-yard cloud flat. So if they're consistently dropping their zones back to 30 yards, this is going to be a great concept that you can run. Now, it's not just about this post route. We're going to take a look at the instant replay here. This hitch route right here is a really good route. You're going to notice here that the vertical hook on this actually sucks inside um, and then kind of comes back outside, which I'm going to come back and uh, talk about that with, just, with you guys in just a second. But then if we come back over here, this is really the more powerful concept is we put them in a lot of stress, right? This little option route is wide open. I can easily catch that. The user basically has to choose. Am I going to cover the option route or am I going to cover the running back route? Now, another thing that is going to put defenders in conflict, which is what is so critical about a successful offense, is what we want to make sure that they can't do is they can't take a Tampa 2. And let's say that they kind of stay underneath let's say that they want to guard the running back and so their their user is going to stay underneath so that they can guard the running back I want to show you what happens with this concept if that is um if that is indeed you know the route that they go what you should be able to do with this is an inside pass lead to your streak and you should be able to cut it off against the opponent so as you can see that now another reason this is really powerful is i'm going to give you a secondary concept that you can do from chips that in that they're going to be kind of aware of and so if it's basically this right here it's simply a slant post combination and the problem is if you're playing someone whoops um if you're playing somebody that just wants to run cover two they're going to have a really hard time stopping trips tight end, to be honest with you, um, just because of how good this passing uh, formation really is against the cover two. And I'll show you that real quickly. Um, and then and then again, it's going to kind of set up that they have to kind of be in a cover three or cover four defense to stop you. But again, it's just a simple slit post concept like this. And what you'll see is the skinny post on the left side. If they want to sit <clears throat> in cover two, you saw that it was running wide open over the top of the seam. So it's unlikely that you're going to get a cover two. More than likely what you're going to get is a cover three Mabel um, with a deep half and a 30 yard cloud. So you see how this kind of looks right here. Sometimes they'll deep, they'll inside quarter that, inside quarter that, 
it'll play the tight end a little bit better, play some of the bombs a little bit better. But it's either an inside quarter or a deep half. And again, I want to reiterate, now what this does, if you look on the left side, now they don't have a vertical hook defender. They, they have to drop their D end into a three rec hook. If they drop their D end into a, um, if they don't do that with their D end, then they're not going to get any sheds. They're going to have all day. So they have to drop them into a bluff blitz, which is a three rec hook. And then what you'll see now is this little hitch is wide open if they do that. If they put him in a three rec, that hitch is going to be open all day long. You can literally just snap and throw it out there. It's going to be wide open. Now, another thing that I wanted to quickly point out, one alternate um, setup, especially if you're dealing with someone that's running a lot of curl flat zones that you can do, is you can do this right here. So this is... Um, just a simple alternate version of this and that's basically what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to go ahead and take that outside receiver and instead of running him on a hitch we're actually going to run him on a smart routed out route it doesn't have to go 10 yards it could be a five yard out route if that's what the smart routed version of it is but just get that route smart routed and what you're going to see is that curl flat will really follow and get outside and it really opens up this hitch against this coverage what makes this place so good like i said is we're going to put them in a position where they can't run a double Mabel. What they have to basically do to stop this concept is they have to run something um, that is essentially looks like this, where they have um, two vertical hook zones and, of course, their user in the middle of the field. So you're going to probably get a concept that looks somewhat like this. Um, and at the best, this is how they're going to be able to stop and defend the hitches. But what you'll be able to see here is not only are we going to be able to attack them with this concept in that regard, but now what you're going to see is, again, if it's, if the underneath is taken away, you still have this, this post, this drive post, that is really, really underrated in terms of what it can do, again, to a base-aligned um, you know, cover two style of defense. I will say that a cloud flat from the corner is much better than this cloud flat from the safety, which I'm going to show you right here. So let's say that they're double Mabeling and, you know, they're going to put this in this situation right here, but the safety's in the deep vertical. Your tight end streak should be wide open, but not just your tight end streak. So obviously that's open. But if you watch, you see how much deeper that safety gets. He can't drive on that. It's relatively simple to click onto that receiver and to cut him off so that that doesn't you know continue down the field so what happens you might be saying if they what, what's another setup that i could use that is still going to be kind of in this if they start using the, the the skinny post and they start doing what i was telling you with the you know the double purples for example but they have these vertical hooks because you're really not threatening the flat to the right side and then they're just going to say with their user well i'll just go and i'll guard that post manually if you take a look back on this left side of the screen, I'm going to show you one quick thing. Um, it's that this, when you use a smart routed um, out route, if you watch the vertical hook, oftentimes it's going to get sucked in and it's going to allow you to be able to hit that hitch even against a vertical hook. To me, it's one of the most hidden gems of the trip set in because that drive post route is going to pull the vertical hook defender back. It really does wonders for your concept. Now, I want to spend just a few seconds here with you, um, uh, closing closing seconds here on the Tampa two. Now, if the, let's say that the vertical hook is from the slot on the outside. Again, we're going to use that smart routed out route. You could use a hitch if you want, or a smoke screen as well. But what you'll see is again that vert hook gets sucked in at first. He's going to have to then recover. So if your first read on this play is your tight end, and then you're going to quickly jump your eyes back to the left and read that hitch, I think that's a very valuable way to use that. Um, and then lastly, let's talk about man coverage here real quick. So let's say that they give you, um, let's say that they go with a little bit of man coverage. This is one of the main reasons why I love this option route to the running back because what you're going to see is that if it's man to man he's going to just simply cut outside beat his man and it's an easy 15 to 20 yards because they can't really cover that route in man to man coverage one other little thing that you might want to know is a smart routed out route is this year especially if you have a good receiver running the route it's not that bad against man you're just going to pass like the outside right on the cut and he can kind of cut that off and make that play whereas a smoke screen is going to struggle to be open against man to man and really a hitch is also going to struggle so that's why i like to have that smart routed out route or the smoke screen again it's based on tendency if they're running more man coverage and they're running more of that curl flat type concept on that left side you might want to consider using the deep out route if they're running more just you know basic where it's literally just cover three mabel out of 
you know nickel 335 wide and they're still sitting three or whatever then you don't need that you can easily beat this concept with just a little smoke and what you'll see here is a, he'll be wide open and as you can see it's still very effective so that is the video i want to thank you for watching the video if you want to learn more about my trips tied in you want to get my all my ebooks grab our patreon membership it's only ten dollars a month it's got the best content in the madden community in my opinion offensive and defensive wise we've got over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks that you will get immediate and instant access to as soon as you join the patreon membership you're also going to get access to all of our updates we update the patreon membership multiple times a week with new tactics new new meta shifts, new little concepts that kind of tag on to some of these ebooks. And of course, we do release new ebooks um, over the course of the next couple weeks. So if you want to get access to all that content, join our Patreon membership. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to become a member, grab all the ebooks. Link is in the description for you to join our Patreon membership.